waddling to the door. He listened a moment, then eased it open slowly. A lamp burned in a stone niche, casting wan yellow light over the empty hallway. Only the flame was moving. Tyrion slid out, holding the crossbow down against his leg. He found his father where he knew he'd find him, seated in the dimness of the privy tower. Bedrobe hiked up around his hips. At the sound of steps, Lord Tywin raised his eyes. Tyrion gave him a mocking half-bow. My lord. Tyrion. If he was afraid, Tywin Lannister gave no hint of it. Who released you from your cell? I'd love to tell you, but I swore a holy oath. The eunuch, his father decided. I'll have his head for this. Is that my crossbow? Put it down. Will you punish me if I refuse, father? This escape is folly. You are not to be killed, if that is what you fear. It's still my intent to send you to the wall, but I could not do it w without Lord Tyrell's consent. Put down the crossbow and we will go back to my chambers and talk of it. We can talk here just as well. Perhaps I don't choose to go to the wall. Father? It's bloody cold up there, and I believe I'd have enough coldness from you. So just tell me something, and I'll be on my way. One simple question, you owe me that much. I owe you nothing. You've given me less than that all my life. But you'll give me this. What did you do with Taisha? Taisha? He does not even remember her name. The girl I married. Oh yes, your first whore. Tyrion took aim at his father's chest. The next time you say that word, I'll kill you. You do not have the courage. Shall we find out? It's a short word, and it seems to come so easily to your lips. Tyrion gestured impatiently with the bow. Taisha, what did you do with her after my little lesson? I don't recall. Try harder. Did you have her killed? His father pursed his lips. There was no reason for that. She learned her place, and had been well paid for her day's work. I seem to recall. I suppose the steward sent her on her way. I never thought to inquire. On her way where? Wherever whores go. Tyrion's finger clenched, the crossbow weighing just as Lord Tywin started to rise. The bolt slammed into him above the growing, and he sat back down with a grunt. The quarrel had sunk deep, right to the fletching. Blood seeped out around the shaft, dripping down into his pubic hair and over his bare thighs. You shot me! He said incredulously, his eyes glassy with shock. You were always quick to grasp a situation, my lord, Tyrion said. That must be why you're the hand of the king. You, you are no, no son of mine. Now that's where you're wrong, father. Why, I believe I'm your ret small. Do me a kindness now, and die quickly. I have a ship to catch. For once his father did what Tyrion asked him. The proof was the sudden stench, as his bowel loosened in the moment of death. Well, he was in the right place for it, Tyrion thought. But the stink that filled the privy gave ample evidence that the oft-repeated jape about his father was just another lie. Lord Tywin Lannister did not, in the end, shit gold.